Nothing but nothing gets a rabbi from giving his weekly drusha. Not even COVID-19 and not even if I have to give it on Friday. So first of all, I want to wish you a good Shabbos. A healthy Shabbos, a restful Shabbos, a meaningful Shabbos, an enjoyable Shabbos, a holy Shabbos, an epic Shabbos. Yeah, an epic Shabbos. You know, every year around Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, I speak to the beautiful people from across the spectrum that fill the pews in front of me about the importance, the gift of Shabbos. The famous Abba Iba line of more than the Jews have kept Shabbos over the years, it's been Shabbos that have kept the Jews. There's a reason why when we refer to a person's level of commitment to Jewish life, out of all Taryag, 613 mitzvahs, we say, are they Shomer Shabbos? Do they celebrate Shabbos? Not because Shabbos is more important than any of the other 613 mitzvahs, but because God implanted a magical power and beautiful system into the observance of Shabbos that ensures that a person has the ability to reconnect with their past, understand where they are in the present, and more importantly, envision where and what it is that they want to do and be in the future. See, Shabbos is a time where we have the opportunity to reconnect with our families, which we've been doing all week, but more importantly, with ourselves, which I could argue we have not had the time to do. The bombardment of all the messages and stresses from the jokes and the memes to the news and the statistics to the words of chizik and strength, majority of our time is actually spent on this, connecting to everything that's going on out there, but not everything that's going on in here. So it's a time to not only reconnect with our family, but to take some time and disconnect to reconnect to ourselves, reconnect to God, more importantly, use all those three to reconnect to our purpose in this world and what it is that we can do to get back on track to achieve it. You see, the amount of individuals I've met over the course of the year that have said, Rabbi, I would love to have a little more Shabbos in my life, but dot, dot, dot. What that dot, dot, dot is is irrelevant. But one thing I know for sure, this Shabbos, God didn't give us the gift of Shabbos. This Shabbos, God gave us the gift of being able to celebrate Shabbos. All we have to do in a couple hours is turn this off. You know, if you think about it, this week in many ways has been one of the most meaningful weeks for people, the most connecting weeks for people, a time where a person realizes that nothing is in their control except for who they are and what they're going to do. There's never coincidence in Jewish life. This week's Parsha, if we were all to be in shul, would have started with the following words. Moshe goes in and gathers all the Jewish people. They're just about to finish building the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the temporary base Amigdash and temple. The place where it says, if you build it, God says, I'm going to dwell not only in it, but I'm going to dwell in all of you. And we're about to build it. Moshe gathers the people and says, wait, I want to tell you something. Six days a week, yeah, we're going to work and we're going to build and we're going to do. But every seventh day, we're going to create some sacred space. We're going to stop. We're going to rest, reconnect to God and what it is and why it is that he put us on this earth. You know, it's never easy to do something for the first time. And therefore, I believe the gift that God's given us is the ability to, in whichever way we've observed Shabbos, to up it a notch. All we have to do, turn this off, maybe turn on the lights in the bathroom, put Kiddush on our tables, cover the challahs, sing some songs, share some thoughts, and ultimately go ahead and disconnect in order to reconnect. You know, the week's Parsha then ends. The last words that would have said if we would have been in shul together after the Bal Kore, the reader, finishes the Torah portion would have said as follows, everyone all together. Chazak, chazak, v'niz chazek. Be strong, be strong, v'niz chazek, and we'll strengthen each other. I want to wish you an epic Shabbos. Don't miss the opportunity that we've all been given to daven in our homes with our families, to say kiddush, to sing songs, to disconnect with a little bit of everything that's going on around us, and use the time to reconnect to ourselves and what we're here to do. If there's any way that I can help you, anything you want to know about Shabbos, please feel free to reach out and give me a call or send me a message or an email. And I look forward to this being an epic Shabbos. I miss you all, and good Shabbos.